Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So uh, it's been a while since our last video, so I hope you're all doing okay with the remote teaching and the remote learning um, as best you can anyway. So because we cannot um, do anything in the classroom, we're gonna go through a theory question. So this one in particular applies to junior cert technology students. This is just a run through of the 2019 question 2B, the mechanisms question, and in particular part four, the calculations part. So. In this question, you're shown a working model of a street bollard. Um, and the first three parts of the question are fairly uh, easy. So you're asked to name the parts of the mechanisms labeled X and Y. So X is a rack, Y is a worm gear. And one advantage of using this type of mechanism is there is no slip, high torque, it's a locking mechanism, and you've got a large speed reduction. Part two then, you're asked, um, the mechanism shown changes the direction of motion to 90 degrees, name and sketch another mechanism which could achieve this. Uh, that's bevel gears. Part three then, explain why limit switches should be used as part of the control circuit, so to stop the baller that is fully raised and fully lowered position. So, i.e. when it reaches ground level, it will shut off the circuit, and when it reaches its fully raised position, it will shut off the circuit. Um, and name a suitable switch would be a lever switch, a micro switch, uh, connected to the common and normally closed, so i.e. a push to break function. So you might be familiar with that circuit from uh, your project if any you're doing the bridge project this year uh, and then there's our bevel gears so next slide then is the hard part so you're asked um, if the motor attached to gear y rotates at 200 rpm calculate the time for which the motor must run to raise the bollard through one meter so we're going to go through this here and talk through it so what you're given is you're given uh, some information. So the rack here, uh, which is X, 5 teeth is equal to 50 millimeters, 30 teeth on the gear in between the rack and the worm, and then the motor rotates at 200 RPM. So here you're always going to be given all the information. You just have to use a bit of logic to work it out. So um, first things I do is write down what we know. RPM is equal to 200, so that means the motor turns 200 times a minute. A worm gear then travels one tooth on the gear per rotation of the worm. So for every one turn of Y, that will travel one tooth on the spur gear. That's a very important part to this question. So five teeth is equal to 50 millimeters, which we're told. So therefore, one tooth must be equal to 10 millimeters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters, which is also equal to 1,000 millimeters. We know that already uh, from measuring and marking out. So to raise the bollard by one meter then, or a thousand millimeters, we must move through 100 teeth. So how did I get that? That's a thousand divided by 10, which is equal to 100 teeth. One rotation of the worm equals the bollard raised by one tooth. Therefore, 100 rotations of the worm equals the bollard raised by 100 teeth. The motor turns 200 times in one minute, and we know one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Therefore, the motor will turn 100 times in half a minute, which is 30 seconds. We must remember that one rotation of the worm is equal to the bollard raised by one tooth. So our answer there is 30 seconds. Um, so it's not too bad. Initially, at first glance, it can be really difficult to work these out. Um, so what I would say is write down all the information you're given and use the logic like we used here. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, which is equal to 1,000 millimeters. Um, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. These are the little things that will help you get uh, the answers to these questions. Um, and yeah, they're difficult. They come with practice. Um, but just rest assured, if you go back here to the first slide, that that is only worth four marks out of the 25 mark question. So you can still get 21 marks out of 24, uh, but why not get 25 out of 25? Um, it's not that hard when it's actually broken down. Uh, so that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.